is uh, a companion the children uh, with us to the masjid. Uh, I personally like that. But I also like to have in the masjid a facility where the toddlers, the babies, and those who are not mumayizin would sit. Maybe we hire a babysitter. There is a playroom. They can sit and play. And also they can watch us while praying. So they love coming to the masjid. But what I don't like and what is not acceptable is when the masjid becomes uh, like, uh, you know, there is noise everywhere. People, uh, babies are crying here and there and disturbing everyone. You know that the, the Prophet Sallallahu said, Inni fi salati. Sometimes the Prophet Sallallahu was planning to uh, recite a long recitation to prolong the prayer. Then he decides to make it short and brief and he concludes fast because he hears a baby crying. Rahmatan bi ummih. Out of feeling mercy for the baby's mother. So when we have too many babies and they're all crying, you know, lack of concentration. I mean, it is good to bring the children to the masjid, but how can we keep balance? In our masjid, for instance, and in many masjid in the States, we designated a room. It has a see-through glass where they can see us while they are playing in a safe area. Uh, we can hire a babysitter, especially for taraweeh and tahajjud. And that's a win-win situation. Everybody is happy. Mothers are praying with peace and tranquility. They feel that their babies are in safe area. The Imam is focusing on his recitation because when the Imam is reciting by heart and he's hearing noise here and there and babies are jumping and kids are running around, it's like a sheep market. So he tends to forget and it disturbs the Imam, it disturbs the Musalleen. Okay, if it happens occasionally, fine, but if it happens on a regular basis, that cannot be.